Hello, friends. I'm Judy Herman, author and counselor and speaker. And I guess you could say I'm a musician because I've got my guitar here. So I want to share with you, since it is Mental Health Awareness Month, I just want to share with you a little tidbit of mental health tips. Of course, I'm a um, mental health professional. This isn't a substitute for professional counseling services, but just something that will help you think and uh, perhaps move you into a place of wellness, in, not only in your mental health and emotional wellness, but also in your relationship wellness. So I just pulled out my guitar here because I've had this for a long time. I got it when I was like 16 years old. And um, anyway, I think it's fairly in tune. Hey, Danielle, fairly in tune. But here's what I was thinking about as I pull this out. I don't play it very often. And there is, you know, when you think about it, there's a relationship, right, that these guitar strings have with each other. And so, like, if you're in a family and you got a family of six people and there's six, like, six guitar strings and one might be out of tune, it's going to change how that guitar sounds. Actually, that was just one little tidbit that I was going to share with you. I'm kind of going off on tangents a little bit. But here's what I wanted to share. I wrote some things down. There's research around how playing a musical instrument can really help you get out of a funk. And like if you play guitar or piano or any other instrument and you've not picked it up for a while, it can actually get you out of whatever you might be going through. There was a time earlier, several months ago, when I was going some, through and facing some major losses in my life. And I was having a hard time sleeping. And you know how the mind just kind of like <laughs> reviews everything, like right before you go to sleep. Well, I started playing my um, keyboard and I played some tunes, some of the classics, Johann Sebastian Bach and, uh, you know, some, some that I was familiar with when I studied music in college years and years ago. And it was kind of like I started practicing and playing. And then I noticed when I went to bed, it was kind of like my mind and my neurons were going in that direction, remembering these patterns and what I was doing. So if you play a musical instrument and it's been a long time since you have, you might want to take it out because it really does something neurologically speaking. So that's first of all, get, it can get you out of a dark place. And I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes I just don't like, you know, doing a certain task like cleaning toilets or, or cleaning sinks and all that stuff. But I put energetic music on so it can get me like excited about it and music can actually change your mood and it, it it can be if you're not careful it can also take you into a dark place as well so I encourage you to make sure that you have uplifting and energetic music whether that's classics whether that's rap or Christian music whatever it is but it will help your mental health and well-being and then yeah like I said it's kind of like we can when you think about it, so many things in our lives, they are relationships. They're relationships. It's that space in between. In our personal relationships, there's that space between the two. It's just kind of like these two, you know, guitar strings. There's, there's a space between this guitar string and that guitar string. And so when they're out of tune, it does change that space in between. So just being aware that we need to be tuned. So many people get married and then, you know, they don't bother tuning up their marriages. Or they, you know, maybe they're great spouses the first two or three years of their marriage and then they just kind of like, they don't spend any time practicing their instrument and getting good at being a spouse. And so there's so many analogies here if we just stop and think about it. But I just wanted to hop on really quick. I'm not going to play anything because honestly I've not practiced enough and I don't have the, <laughs> I don't have the calluses built up on my fingers yet because it's been a while. But just keep in mind, music can be soothing to the soul. And our emotions are need to flow. We don't need to get stuck in any of our emotions. And that in-between space in our relationships, it really does matter. So anyway, I hope that this is helpful to you. I'm Judy Herman, author of Beyond Messy Relationships. I actually talk about some of this in my past. You know, it's like, uh, yeah, when I bring up this guitar, and it's been to Europe and you know, I got it when I was 16. My grandfather was the one to help me pick it out because he's a virtuoso guitarist. And um, so, yeah, there's so many things and, and we can really help our brain 
to process things and and pick up that music if you are a music you have a musical instrument so yes danielle your personal relationship must be right with jesus christ to happen healthy relationships let's see to ha for healthy relationships to come out and that's wonderful here's what i believe danielle which is probably a little bit outside the box you know we can go to church and we can hear preachers we can hear sermons and then we can go home and have a fight with our spouse, right? So I believe that that's, again, that space in between, whatever's coming up in the relationship is actually where those divine invitations are. So that, um, yes, but you're absolutely on target. I want to affirm you, like, I so appreciate you watching and, um, and commenting here, but it is very true. So, oh, good. Hey, Jennifer, I didn't know you had a guitar, too. Yeah, it can get dusty if you're not careful. <laughs> Make sure you change the strings and, and have them uh, aligned pretty well. But, yeah, I mean, actually just bringing it out here and talking about it uh, makes me think, I need to pick this up more and play. <laughs> but I love guitar music and I love piano music. And, um, yeah, it's a really, really sweet. Yes, that in-between is Christ, but so many people don't recognize that. They don't recognize that, do they, Danielle? So um, how to see your spouse and that other one, that other person that you're living with as a gift from God. They are there with all their issues. And, you know, what are they showing you about things you can't see in yourself. Again, relationships are like mirrors to our souls. But anyway, I'm not going to stay on long. I know it might be your lunch hour. Yes, music's a good coping skill. Absolutely, absolutely. Miss Owens, thank you so much for watching. It's so sweet. I'm glad people are watching this. So um, yes, I got to go to a counseling appointment pretty soon and uh, love seeing clients outdoors like this and on the screen. But um, it's awesome to talk with you. Uh, yeah, and when I say your relationship must be good, standing in God's sight and also do the Son, Jesus Christ's sight and so on. Okay, yeah, and I will finish. This is cool. Y'all are making me stay on longer. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. Uh, there, I got to see the rest of this. Okay, I can't, I can't do the see more. So, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run. And what I really want you to know is that you are very valuable. And when you really know this deep within your heart, that you are worthy and deeply loved by God, then you will be able to pour that out to others because you're getting your filling in, in a place that, um, you know, nobody can take from you. All right. So you just get grounded in your sense of who you are because you are deeply loved and valuable and a person of dignity. And God has designed us in such a way to handle whatever stressors, whatever emotions, and they, they are dances. It's a dance. We've got to pay attention to that, but let them flow as they are designed to do. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, hop on my website, judycounselor.com, and take your relationship stress quiz. Feel free to press that Ask Judy button and record a, a comment too, and I'll address it here. Thank you so much for joining me. Love y'all.